Poll of NBA GMs that is currently up at NBA.com. Nearly 90% said they want Anthony Davis, not LeBron James, if they had to start a franchise today and could sign any player. Kevin Durant and LeBron tied for second each with 6.9% of the vote. Now, it's important to note that in the same poll last season, LeBron received 50% of the vote. So a big slide from last year. Stephen A, do you agree with the GMs on picking Anthony Davis? Yes, I do. Um, I, I, I would, I would, the only reason I wouldn't put Kevin Durant up there is because of the foot injury. I think that Kevin Durant's efficiency, I think he's a scorer machine. I think that if, if, if he shot the ball enough, um, and obviously he didn't have Russell Westbrook. It was just Kevin Durant. I think he's he, he is the modern day ice man. I think he would go down as the greatest scorer in NBA history. I think he's the one guy that has a legitimate shot at capturing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Okay. You know, the all-time greatest scorer. If you thought he was 100% healthy, would you take him right now to, to start your so, team? Probably okay. so. Right. Probably so. Because of his efficiency as an offensive player, what he can do with the ball, his length, his, his marksmanship, uh, he's just a scoring machine of the highest order but it literally would be a toss-up with him and Anthony Davis which is why I would go with Anthony Davis the reason I feel that way is because Anthony Davis can defend any frontline position Anthony Davis can also average 25 in his sleep he can run the floor he can finish on breaks okay he can play above the rim he can play from three-point range he can shoot a mid-range game the dude is 6'10", 6'11". Mm -hmm. He's on another level, okay? Anthony Davis is a budding superstar in this league. He is nothing short of spectacular, and he's only going to get better. I will give props to Kentucky overall because I think DeMarcus Cousins is the best big man in basketball. I think that Anthony Davis may end up being the most complete player in basketball because Kevin Durant ain't Anthony Davis on the defensive side of the ball. But Anthony Davis is gifted as he is. is not Kevin Durant on the offensive side of the ball. Hmm. But I would say that Anthony Davis is just as much of a complete package at the end of the day. I have absolutely no problem with this pick. I think the only thing standing in the way of Anthony Davis being universally recognized as the best player in the world in two years is Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. That's the only person standing in his way, as great as LeBron is, and we can't take anything away from his mm -hmm. un, uh, you know, just uh, un undoubted greatness. At the end of the day, he's a physical specimen, but creeping up there in age. So the physical specimen that he once was, mm -hmm. even though I still think he'll be dominant, might be somewhat compromised. You know, the shots for the back, yep. you know, the mileage on his legs. I got it. You know, you even got, you know, folks in his inner circle concerned about the load that he's being asked to carry, mm -hmm. which is why it's so important that the Kyrie Irvins and the Kevin Loves and all of those guys are healthy. Even though New Orleans ain't in the conversation because even though they're an uprising team, and I believe in Alvin Gentry and that he'll do a good job with that team, yep. they still have a long ways to go. But you don't hear any of those rationale involving Anthony Davis. Instead, what you're doing is marveling at the greatness yep. we're about to see yep. from this kid. This kid, Anthony Davis, is the real deal mm -hmm. he is the There's future no doubt about that he is the future of the nba no question <sighs> to your point about demarcus cousins before i answer the question mm -hmm. if i thought demarcus could keep his head on straight every night i would take him right now i'd, I'd want to build around him I, I think he can be even more of a force than anthony davis can be he's bigger he's stronger he's got touch he can shoot he can make his free throws I, I'm, I'm, listen, if I thought he was completely mature and stable emotionally, which he, he struggles with, I would take him. Well, well listen, I, I've learned to stop getting on DeMarcus Cousins because I think he's just a real brother. He's just somebody that doesn't hide how he feels. But you have and to I, control you your have emotions. To, you have to control yep. your emotions. But yep. listen, I thought he exercised a he lot did. of control I by agree. just getting up and he, walking he is, away from Carl, he, George Hall instead of reacting the he way he did. He's growing up before your very eyes. And he's, a, he's yeah. big time. But the way the game has changed, Skip, because of what you're required to do, the stretch four position, how you got to be a big boy with perimeter no, skills, I, hey. that's why. He's the. I think I'm going as far as to say Demarcus Cousins is the best big man in basketball. Yeah. But in terms of the complete package, okay. Nah. When I saw Davis. Anthony Davis's um, three weeks ago, maybe tell Sage Steele on our network. I, I spent the offseason working on my three-point shot. 
You did? Lord have mercy on everybody, because if you got that in your repertoire, and, and he's capable, because we all know he's a power forward who can block shots with two guard skills, yes, right? He, he can shoot it. Well, he was a guard in high school, and then he grew up. And here he is, and he led the NBA in PER last year, player efficiency rating. That's pretty great. And he's just 20. Okay, just 22 years of age. This will be his fourth year. Now, my only issue, I said this last year, and I'm going to say it again. Okay. I get all that. I see all that. I've even seen him hit some clutch shots. He beat my Spurs early last year when Pop put Aaron Baines on him for the last play. Don't ask me why. And obviously Anthony Davis drove it from the top of the key and laid it up at the buzzer to beat my Spurs. But but anyway, he's got the whole package. Yes, sir. My question is, and it's almost like an Andrew Luck question, if you will. Okay. Is he that guy? Is Does he have that it factor that, that you would want to build your team around ultimately? I'm talking about that championship factor. Mm -hmm. LeBron always had it. I've had my issues with LeBron with this clutch shooting, but LeBron was so good at age 18. I'm, I'm looking at him in that first game at Sacramento. Remember his first game yep. ever? And I'm 25. saying, yeah, I, he was scored 25 points. I said, I want that guy. I'm going to build my team around that guy. Now, do I love him in big? I don't know yet, but, but he is so good, and he makes everybody else around him so much better that Cleveland is already a factor when he's 18 years of age. LeBron kept Cleveland afloat, made them a championship contender mm -hmm. all the way through. So, so all these votes that we've been taking from age 18 until age 30, LeBron's the guy you're going to build around. I, I wouldn't have any quibble or well, quarrel with that. Well, let me say okay. this to you. If you're trying to win this year, of course you go with LeBron. Okay. That's obvious. All right. Okay, nobody's going to dispute that. He's too experienced. His basketball IQ is off the charts. His abilities are okay, not but, to be questioned. But I questioned. think we're looking at the next right. five we're, we're, years we're or seven at the next years, five years. No, yeah, no, okay. I'm going with you, AD. You, okay, all right. Okay, but here's my question okay. there. Okay. And it's early, and it's unfair of me to ask this, but he has played three years of professional forward basketball. I'm looking forward to answering. Okay, Go ahead. all right. Is he that guy who's going to take you to multiple championships? I'm not sure I see the leadership, the the big moment player. I'm not sure I see that yet. And again, it's unfair because he's 22 years yeah. of age. And we got to see him in one playoff series, and he got swept by the eventual NBA champion, right. Golden no, State Warriors. Ends, that. Well, okay? That, that thing, whatever yep. that quality okay. is, does yeah. he have that thing? Let me answer it. Okay. Let me say this to you. I'm not, I'm not messing with you here. I think you got it wrong. But... I respect where you're coming from. Here's what I think you miss when you're comparing the LeBrons of the world to an Anthony Davis or somebody else. Even though LeBron is 6'8", 6'9", 250, can post up, LeBron doesn't prefer to play with his back to the basket, nope. and he's been allowed to be a guard. That's not to say that Anthony Davis isn't allowed to do that as well. Because he, they'll let him do what he want, playing with his face to the basket, back to the basket, whatever the case may be. They use his entire offensive repertoire. But what I think you're missing is that that LeBron, the floor general, the one that you said can be the closest thing to Magic Johnson, yeah. that's not what Anthony no. Davis has been asked to do. It's not. He is a forward who's been asked to be a forward. And I think that even though the game has evolved and the game has mm -hmm. changed and you see stretch fours and you see guys like Chris Bosh stepping away from the basket, hitting 15 and 17 foot jumpers, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. At the end of the day, when you look at an Anthony Davis, he's asked to be a forward, not a guard. So the okay. onus and the responsibility right. that he has is entirely different than what LeBron had sure. on his shoulder. Sure, I got it. So when you, when you take that into consideration and then you ask the question, well, can he be that dude? My, my response to that would be, it depends on what you're asking. If you're saying, Anthony Davis, we got all the requisite parts mm -hmm. around you. Yep. Here's the ball. Yep. Take us to the promised land. Absolutely. Okay. If you're asking him to make the other guys around him better the way a LeBron is asked, no, no. that's not him. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you have to look at. It's almost like even in a different way, it's like looking at a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Moses Malone when he went to Philly. God rest his wonderful soul. Guys like that, well, they were big boys, and they did what they were supposed to do. Yep. Whereas somebody like LeBron has been asked. you got to look at LeBron. Look at it this way. Skip Bayless, do you know that the Chris Bosh 
Joshes of the world, the Dwayne Wades of the world, other folks always had better numbers without LeBron than they did with LeBron. Better numbers, but they still played better with him mm -hmm. because he had more of a profound impact with them and than they did without him. But their numbers weren't better. Mm -hmm. So you can't always go by that. In, in the case of Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis is a superstar in the making yep. with the requisite skills okay. to take you to the promised land if you surround him All with right. the pieces. Okay. You did, LeBron was the piece. So Anthony Davis is of the world. You have to surround them with the pieces. Okay. That's the difference. There's one last name I have to sure. bring into this conversation. Sure. Because I think he deserves it because he has earned it. Yeah. Russell Westbrook belongs in this conversation. Absolutely. If, if he were maybe two inches taller, I think I would think about making him the guy I would. Well, how old is Russell Westbrook? Uh, I think it's 25, if I remember. Okay. 25, 26. Kevin's sure. 27, but, right. so he's probably yeah. 20. right. So right 25, 26. Okay. Yeah. Let me say this about Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is the guy everybody should want if we're talking attitude. Now we know his skills are superstar, they are but 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 he's but he's six four, okay, and he's the point guard that loves to shoot. But I'm telling you, if I have to pick based on talent, I'm gonna give Anthony Davis the slight edge. But if I have talent. And what I have is a bunch of choir boys that don't mind losing. That, you know, all right, we're going to do it. You know, hey, it's going to be all right. Or Lamar Odom, we're wishing him yeah, well, no, by the way. Do. But Lamar yeah. Odom is like, we going to the crib. Relax. No, no, no. Everything's going to be all right. Chill out. No. I need a Russell Westbrook on that squad. Yeah. Russell Westbrook is the assassin okay. that everybody wants. Which is why if I could pour Russell Westbrook into Anthony okay. Davis, okay. No, 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 oh, then it's all over. See, 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 the, see the, the Lord is a fair-minded <laughs> That is true. Uh, yeah. That is true. Force. No one it, ever gets it, it all that. It would not be yeah. fair it would yeah. not. to have Russell Westbrook's persona and attitude mm -hmm. inside no. of yep. an Anthony Or LeBron James. Yeah, that is true, yep. too. Or LeBron I, James. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, uh, Russell Westbrook mindset? Yes. In yep. those dudes? Yep. Oh, Lord. And that wouldn't be fair. It but Anthony be fair. Davis be just getting started at 22 just years old, getting started. already an all-star. He has a legit just chance started. to be an NBA MVP. But let's give DeMarcus Cousins some love, yes. too. Right. Best big man in the game. Can, Best big that. man in the game. All right, let's give the Cincinnati Bengals some love, guys. But have they been exposed? Mm. Mm. We're not sure. We'll explain that after the break.